Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Shilomet TV. After a very long, tiring journey, we finally arrived at the University of Education, Winneba, and headed straight to the university clinic where we had to restore their dial up autolyzer as found in those screens. This machine had been around for almost about two years without working because their engineer wasn't able to restore it back to action after it had a problem. So I was taxed with doing the corrective maintenance, reinstallation of the software, reprogramming of the machine to be able to use Tridermal reagent since it was originally programmed to use Dynlab reagent. It was a very hectic work, but glory be to God, we were able to pull the whole work out successfully. The installation of the software, reprogramming of the methods, correctively maintaining the errors that were on the machine, and at the end of the day, we were successfully able to do the calibration and every control for all the methods passed successfully. So this machine is very similar to the VT1500, so I'll quickly go through some of the specifications of this machine. And if you are interested in having one, I will leave my contact in the description or on the screen so you can contact me if you need any of these services with the corrective maintenance or an installation of these machines or you want to purchase it so going straight to the specification of this machine is actually a clinical chemistry and a demetry analyzer and it's fully automated it has dedicated locations for calibrators and standards and then controls and it has 10 channels of filters running your test it has barcode identification system for both reagents and sample but this is an optional feature that you can request when you're behind the machine it has a sample tray having about 78 total position with 62 spaces for sample so you can actually program about 62 samples on board and just run all of them together then we have 16 spaces for standards and control it has a reagent tray with 48 reagent positions which is made of 24 50 microliter or 80 microliter bottle and then 24 10 microliter or 20 microliter bottle i think the 80 microliter bottle is actually for the bt 3000 and the 2000 it has a throughput of 250 tests per hour and it's very efficient at consuming water it's not like the other um, fully automated chemistry analyzer which waste a lot of the stored water this one when you have about one liter of water it can work for almost about an hour without finishing there's a test directory of up to 500 and an inbuilt qc program with a minimum of two levels of control it's actually three levels of control and it's so wonderful it has a photometry sensitivity of plus 0 0.001 absorbance this is mind-blowing this is mind-blowing so if you were interested in getting this analyzer as i said my contact is down below and as you're watching it i believe you really enjoy some of the movement of the analyzer this is what is used to check the functions of your kidney whether it is really working well according to physiology your liver and other organs is very very important Without these kind of machines, this is just one round of several of them, the doctor cannot be able to detect whether your kidney, your liver, and other organs are failing. So I believe you are supposed to see how it works, at least have a feel of it, have a feel of how it moves. And this channel is dedicated to bringing to you the education of some of these healthcare technologies. And that's the more reason why you need to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share the, the video across. And if you have any question, you can leave your questions and then uh, suggestions and comments in the comment box down below. See you.